Is your uh is your gain low, Brian? No. <clears throat> I just have like my I think I might be losing my voice soon. No, I mean, I think your voice sounds fine. It's just you're you, you're coming in a little low. Yeah, it's cuz like I can't really talk at my normal volume for some reason. Mm. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, Minecraft villager type beat. Wait, what? Minecraft villager type beat. You is, heard me. Is that a thing? You never heard? You never heard of Minecraft villager? Oh, you know, this is entirely my fault. I had you I had you guys low. You have you never heard of Minecraft Villager before? No. When they talk, they go, nah, nah. Is that real? Yeah, it is. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that is real, actually. 100%. <laughs> you learn something new every day. 110%. Mm. You think I would lie? You think I would piss my pants, maybe? Yeah. Gosh, I'm tired, boys. No, yeah. Bad. It's been a long day for me as well. Yeah, um, I've imposed a challenge upon myself to see if I can accomplish it. You guys don't want to know what it is? What is Be it? Fasting? No, no. God, no. No more chewing tobacco? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> you can't stop that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris will never stop the tobacco chewing if for those listening i don't think i've ever know. i've never chewed tobacco in my life stop saying things about me <laughs> stop, stop right. spreading I conjecture i was lies. lying christian watched Mad Men and developed a crazy tobacco like smoking addiction it was, it was nuts. <laughs> for tobacco craving yeah. yeah it was i was worried about him the entire time Look thank god he stopped watching it that's a great show. I like Mad Men. Rick and Morty said something about them. They said something about like people smoking cigarettes in a in a room all day or something like that. That is Mad Men essentially, um, because people, you, everybody, the '60s were like crazy because they didn't care, or they, it's not that they didn't care; it's that they didn't understand that these things like would kill you, so they would just smoke twenty seven packs of them every day. And Mad Men, ah. every single character. That's not like a, a literal child smokes like unlimited packs of cigarettes. Unlimited packs of cigarettes. Were they really smoking cigarettes like on set? Like, yeah. Oh well, no, like they would smoke. It they would it would be fake cigarettes. Yeah, they would die if they oh, were smoking. Yeah, that would be insane cigarettes. if they were ingesting tobacco every day. Oh God, <laughs> people do that. Like my supervisor. I mean, yeah, I mean, people do that, but um. Yeah, no, they'd be fake cigarettes, and they talk about it. They say that, it, like, it's awful. It, like, tastes terrible because it's not really tobacco, so it's just... You can't give it, like, a fruit flavor or something? I don't think so. <laughs> maybe they're just smoking weed instead. Like maybe, <laughs> That would like, be awesome. But you know what? I don't think <laughs> they would be... I don't think they'd be able to turn in these groundbreaking performances if they if they were just straight up super high super smacked yeah like, all, yeah like for as much as they super want. smacked because they they smoke yeah, a lot of the show yeah. they would be it would be impossible they would trail they would off never, they wouldn't remember any lines yeah you'd <laughs> veer off into monologues yeah. uh i've been okay so yeah my challenge that i've imposed on myself is that i'm trying to read every series that's currently in circulation and jump what the fuck are you talking about just casually i'm not like putting any pressure on it i'm trying to see if i can actually catch up to every series so far i read i i, did, I took it easy on myself i caught up on kagurabachi first so that was easy <laughs> all right so that was easy yo i thought it was about to end it's it, it looks like it's not ending i'll tell no, you what they didn't cut it I'll tell you what it is. Kind of felt like this was the end. It's okay. not doing well in the in the polls. I'll tell you. No, that. Horikoshi saved it. I don't know about that. Wow. I saw it. I saw the Horikoshi. newest chapter. Yeah, Horikoshi gave it a cosign, so it spiked oh, in popularity. No, yeah. I don't know about that. I saw the I saw the ranking for the last chapter. It wasn't Horikoshi great. Horikoshi doesn't hold a lot of weight around these parts. Man. I don't think that's but, true. <laughs> I think that. if I think if Horikoshi recommended something, I, I think it'll be fine. You know what I mean? Because I think Undead Unlock had. 
kind of the same vibes when it was starting where it was like bottoming a lot and then after a certain oh. point it was just kind of safe so i think kagorobachi will make it especially since like it's really popular here and i i have a sense that like shonjo kind of takes that into perspective now Yo, I hear a lot of people say, oh, this is the new that, this is the new this, this is basically this. Like, this, I think Kagurabachi, to me, is, like, the closest we've had to, like, Bleach, personally. Yeah, I mean, you know, magic swords, spiritual energy. Yeah, the same way everyone's really cool. Everyone's either, like, real chill, like, they're either, like, really, really cool, um, or, like, they're a little bit of a goof. But undercover cool, mm-hmm. you know. I, I ain't mad at it. I'm just saying. Like, undercover it, it cool. It feels bleachy. You know yeah. what I mean? No, right? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I think you're, you're like, uh, think yeah, one. you know, no big deal. <laughs> oh, but secretly, I'm that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is a lot of bleach. That's literally like half of the the characters that aren't Chihiro <laughs> are just uh, Urahara and Ichigo's dad. And Ichigo's dad, yeah. Skyscraper Zanpakuto, yeah, or whatever the fuck he said, yeah. Oof, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So far, like I mean, Kagurabachi is good. You know, I like it. Yeah, it is. Some of the art Bleach is so good. good. I just, I think, like, it's got some of the best. Whenever they do two page spreads, it's pretty fucking good. Who draws better, Goldfish, him or uh, or or uh, the World Trigger author? Goldfish? Who else? Who? Who? How many times do they draw? Does Ashihara draw goldfish? You ever see that? You all right? There's like, there's goldfish in that guy's uh, attack. That neighbor with the egg. That's oh, all those different yeah, I mean, it's a bunch of different animals. It's not just goldfish, right? Well, I had goldfish, but there was also fish in like a color page. You mm. know, and it has like three of them standing there or whatever, or four of them. Yeah, I mean. I guess the Kagurabachi guy has more stylized fish. You know? Mm-hmm. But, and you know, the Kagurabachi guy, I would say. I would say he draws goldfish cooler. Yeah. I like the way he does his um his action, too. It's good. <clears throat> it's, yeah. very, it's very dynamic. And, like, uh, the way that he... That he draws um certain scenes, just, like... It's Jujutsu Kaisen esque, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, so I'm. I'm just the finished. Impacts are nice. Yeah, so I just caught up to that. I'm. I'm already on Sakamoto Days and Akane Banashi. So, uh, the next one I'm tackling is uh, Mission Yozakura Family. No, <laughs> don't do that, Chris. I at least save it for the end. Why? Please. Um. Out of solidarity with your friend? I don't understand. Why Why would I need solidarity? Because you know what, bro? If you told me, listen, Josh, I don't want you to read that shit. I'm going to tell you this, Chris. I'm going to ask you why. And if you say, Josh, it's the God's honest truth that I don't have a good reason why. I just don't want you to. I'm going to say bet. Just like that, man. <laughs> You're just gonna like just... that. I... I mean, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world if you don't follow my... If I say, don't read this and you don't read it, that's fine That's fine with me. I mean... I remember reading a couple chapters of it when it first started, and it never really grabbed me, but I'm going to try again. Listen, the MC is a super cool guy. He's really nice um, and attracts a lot of women, but he doesn't know... No, know. no, no! It's not this. That's not. It's not a harem series. Yeah, he's. He, he, yeah. No, it's you not. You think it's not a harem series, but the thing is, did you read ahead? It's always harem. It's not harem. This is a family of of people. It's family one f- of harem. It's not a harem. It's a family. What's a what's not a harem? Mission Yozakura family. It's just one girl. I don't know anything about that. He has like a uh, one love interest. Mm-hmm. And it's not a harem. Mm-hmm. I've read far enough to know that it's not a harem. You know, you go ahead and read that series and you'll see. You'll all see. You'll see. <laughs> you'll, see. You'll, see. you'll rule the day. You'll see. 
Oh, in my uh, do you remember that series, History Strongest Disciple? Oh, go ahead. I do remember no, History no, 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 Strongest Disciple. Is that isn't that Kenchi? Ken, or whatever Kenichi. His name is? Yes. Kenichi. That's Spy Family. Is that just Spy? This isn't Spy Family. I mean, <laughs> Mission Yozara. That's what I'm talking. No, about. No, it's not. It's not that. I've never, it I've never read uh, Strongest Disciple. You've never read Mission Yozakura Family, Josh. How and you've you? never read Mission Yozakura Family, then, Brian. What? You've never read <laughs> Wait, what? I'm telling you, if you, if you haven't read, is this how it feels when Toto claps? I feel so disoriented after that. <laughs> Josh hit you with the fucking clap right there. Did you hit me with the boogie woogie, dude? <laughs> yeah, you boogie woogie your your attack onto me. <laughs> Yo, he clapped his hands and he switched points with me. <laughs> I redirected the lightning. I was like, wait, I never read Kenchi, but <laughs> did I? Did I really not? Do I really not know what's happening here? All I'm trying to say is that those two series are essentially exactly the same. I don't think so. I think you're wrong about and, that. Well, Chris, you have a lot more to read. I've read a little bit of it already. A little bit. That's the key word. As you keep reading, you will see. It is... It's not a harem. It's haram. How are you... How are you... And it's haram. <laughs> Why and are you so stubborn that. about this? It's I'm telling you because I read it. You can't contribute to its popularity, Chris. Huh? That's blasphemous. We don't do shit like that here at New Jump City. What are you talking about? Do what? You heard the we man. Don't, we don't support op series. Is this an op series? What makes it an op series? I didn't know this. An because op to who? People, because it's... Because it's what? I don't know, all right? I don't know. I'll tell you what. I've it's never heard anybody talk out about there. I've never heard anybody talk well, about this series. It's like 212 chapters in. I've not heard one word one. Jesus Christ. 212? Mm-hmm. Well, here's how it goes. It's either a really bad series or it's the best series ever. Uh, I don't know about and that. I'd rather it, I'd rather it be I'd rather it be a really bad series. Why? That's how would you how want that? that? <laughs> that's life, bro. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't want to have to deal with, but that's just how you know. Yeah, but the, it's I don't one like thing to I say. gotta wait every week for manga to come out. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta live with that. As he does, gotta live with that. He does got to live with that, Chris. I just don't know why he he wants it to be bad. Like, I get it if it's bad and we got to live with it, but Josh is actively rooting it for it to be bad. Every every series that's not that that's being read by people and it's not World Trigger is an issue, bro. Hmm. That's what it comes down. Even to. One Piece? So true. I'm sorry, Chris, but One Piece, yeah. Wow. All right, except for One Piece. Wow. Well. Jujutsu Kaisen and, and and Dragon Ball Super, okay. But, <laughs> and those um, are the two exceptions. Yeah. Yes. I gotta read Witch Watch too. Maybe I'll do that one after Yozakura Family. That actually looked kind of cool. Yeah, I like the art. Who? Um, I know the artist who did this. I just can't remember what series they've done. Kenta Shihara. Did he do um Astra? Okay, he did Astra Lost in Space. I remember that. But I feel like he did something before that. He's not the Nisekoi guy, right? I don't think so. But why do I have a weird feeling that it is? That it's, like I'm that that check. was so random that I feel like it's been so long. I man Nisekoi, huh? I don't think it is. I, I it doesn't look like the same art. Yeah, I don't think that. it is. But I remember he had something. This guy. Yeah, they're doing something else. No, it's not yeah. him. No, it's not him. It's not him. Damn. I guess I'll never know. Well, don't say it's so you sad. You think a uh, Mission Yozukora family fan is going to light my shit up on YouTube? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, hey, if you guys have issues with Josh uh, and his opinions about Mission Yozakura family, please comment. Please email us at NewJumpCityPodigyBot.com with nothing but uh, vitriol. True. Yeah, I can take it. No, I mean, I guess this guy only did Astro Lost in Space and Witchwatch, actually. All right. Maybe that's where I knew him from. So the Super Bowl is next Sunday. It sure is. I remember a few years ago, there was a Super Bowl we watched together in East New York. We watched we a watched couple of certain light skin man. Did we? Yeah, you know what? We watched the Eagles one. That was epic. Um, well, the, as a Cowboys fan, that was epic, and mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, we've seen the Chiefs one. Is there another one we've seen? Uh, we've uh, we've watched the Cowboys lose in the playoffs a couple of times, yeah, that. yeah. I feel like that's all we do, really. Um, <clears throat> I go to your you house, know, the Cowboys both times you were so reasonable, you could have taken shots in my own house, mind you, <laughs> but like. <laughs> It felt wrong you to do so. You still were just as confused as me. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> it was the Niners' loss that was especially confusing. It's like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, like what? The way it happened too. It was just like, oh, even nah. I think this Green Bay loss was. We don't got to make it a football podcast again, but like, yeah, but that nah. Green Bay loss was next fucking level. Yeah, it was next level. I was like waking up and. In, in fucking upside down land. <laughs> some wacky bullshit. You were like the living embodiment of that crabs meme where he's like looking <laughs> <laughs> where it's all distorted and he's <laughs> looking <laughs> around. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? <laughs> they just kept scoring and we just kept not scoring. <laughs> like, yeah, you did nothing but not score. This is the exact opposite of what happens at Cowboys home games. Like, huh? Yeah. Brian, I got to ask you something. Um, oh boy. So, you've been you keeping up with One Piece, right? Yeah. I just finished reading so, it. So, did you think at any point that Jay Garcia was a crab? No. <laughs> See, Josh? I actually... All right, I've been all right, reading... all right, no, no. I, I wasn't even going to, like... No follow up. Wait, you mean you mean like 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 when he became like a crab? Brian, did Josh I is think asking, he was a crab? Josh is asking you if oh! he resembles a crab. Like all like, you're telling me like before the reveal or after the re- reveal? After the reveal. After. I thought he was pretty crab like. Yo, Brian, that's what I'm come saying. On. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Come on, yo. He's doing. He's, Josh, he's saying that to make you feel oh better. Oh my god! Finally, somebody else. I'm telling you, nigga. He's that saying that to make like you feel better. Crab. Is he supposed yeah, to be a spider? Like a crab, son. It is more yeah. crabby than spidery. I gotta this say. Fucking episode. I'm not gonna sit here and let you guys man. gaslight me. Is this, is this guy? No, you, I, I'm being <laughs> gaslit. Bro, this nigga Chris had had the nerve to make me feel like I was out of my mind. You are out of your but mind. It's clearly a goddamn he's spider. Like a crab. Out it's of your gourd. Clearly a fucking spider, bro. All right. It's not it's not I got It's not a crab, dude. It's not even ambiguously a crab. Vindicated. He's kind of crabby though. He's only he's crabby, crabby in that bro. he has more legs than than and the average human and they're like on his sides. What is especially spider like about him then? Uh, where his claws? Like, he's such a crab. Um, now that I see, yeah. now that I take a closer look, he is more spidery. Mm, Josh, but, but like his full crab, right? His full body is more crabby though. It's not. He's true. like a crab spider hybrid. Oh, I won't be guessing. Right, I'm gonna tell you what I said to Chris the other day, right? I said, listen, when I envision. A, a crab human like fusion. I am fusion crab on the bottom, human on the top. That's exactly what this motherfucking Saturn look like. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't matter if and you're a cra- half crab. Ocean, it doesn't matter what thing, half of like... you is a crab. It doesn't matter what half of you is a spider. <laughs> if you're half of something, that's what you. You're half of that thing. 
You know, I think I just think spiders and crabs probably have a lot more in common than we think. <laughs> He's half spider, half crab. Crabs are just half water man. He can't be at three halves of something, Brian. You don't know that. I do know that. I'm looking how at do you, a, how a do you Spider-Man. decide? How do you decide, huh? Maybe the lore side can be spider and the swag side could be crab. No. He's a crab. spider. C R E B. Crab. Big crab. <laughs> All right, maybe he could be a crab. Yeah. K R E B. See, this go. is what happens, Brian, when you like don't come to the podcast. Josh and I have been debating this for four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no dead ass for like three or four weeks. We were going four back weeks of, about of is he a crab or is he a spider? Yeah, I mean, we, I think I feel like yes. we've named two episodes after this. One Ryan, of the what I'm telling one you, of the pre shows and files, one of the bro. and one of the main show episodes are probably named after the crab and spider debate. Yeah, yeah, we I, we almost had a second crab title actually, Freudian crab. Yeah, we were almost but, there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we were almost there, but you know, we 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 decided, hey, we've been we've been dragging this fucking spider and crab debate for too long. It's clearly a spider. I'm willing to put this to rest now, or at the very least, it was put to rest two weeks ago when I said, hey, and Brian, thank God, revived me from the grave. (laughs) Brian, I don't know why you did that. Brian was doing this to make you feel better, so you wouldn't feel crazy immediately. (laughs) Brian was doing Brian this. My life, yo. <laughs> he my is. Career. I feel like personality wise, he's a crab. He, uh, it doesn't uh, matter. He can have a crabby wise, personality and still be a spider. How how can you look at Saturn and think spider? Like spiders don't do the shit he does. That's oh, oh, and and crabs do. Like do crabs do that? Do, time, cra- do crabs uh, pierce That's through your soul crab with just a stare? Fucking creatures, bro. That's why we eat them. Oh, yeah, I'm sure if crabs could, they would, but there's lore I think spiders that. would be more likely to blast through your soul with a with a glare. Crabs just trying to survive, man. So you haven't looked at crab in his eyes before? No. Exactly, bro. Yeah, you don't get no it then. Neither of you, Neither. Brian. You don't get it. You you have an instinctive flight or fight response to shit like that. I'll cancel you this can't whole show. That, I will stop doing this podcast. <laughs> I'm tired of being gaslit by you guys. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's definitely a spider. It's not, it's... But I'm not crazy for thinking it might have been a crab. That's it, bro. That's it. Is anyway, so I, I'm up to uh I'm up to Whole Cake Island on my reread of One Piece. Oh, I'm in thriller. Yeah, I, I just got past the uh the part where the plan fails, trying to escape. Where are you, Punk, Punk Hazard? You said. No, um, whole cake. Oh, whole cake. Wow. Yeah, they try. They they broke her. They broke Mo- Mother Carmel's fucking. Uh, oh yeah. Fucking oh, picture. This arc is so much better than I thought it would be. I feel like it was a better read. If it would be a better read, if you read it all together. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sick. I like the the scene where they're all where they all meet with Beige and they're like sitting in the middle. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a giant table. That's so sick. I love that shot for some reason. Yeah. Um, one of the things yeah. I remember yeah. from any Slavi, which I just finished, is uh, you know that picture I showed you of the guy who takes the wanted photo pictures for everybody in One Piece. He actually does appear canonically in the story. Oh, at Water 7? Yeah, no, after every, oh, the Straw Hats get their first bounty, you, you know, when, like, Sanji had his one that was drawn, there's actually a scene where he meets with the Navy, and they're like, why don't you have this picture of Sanji? <laughs> and it's because he he happened to leave the cap on when he was taking pictures of Sanji. Huh? That is oh yeah, I remember that. I want this guy to play a big role in the series. App man, Chris King, please. Like, Doug, what? Bro survived a fucking um a, a Buster call to get those pictures. 
He did? Yeah, he was there at Eddie's lobby taking pictures of all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause then, cause that's where they Soga got... Soga King, right? That's right. Yeah, that's how they their other crew members got their first bounties. That, fuck, that guy was there. He was there in Wano. He took a picture of Luffy in his Gear 5. How is he there for every... He's there for really every event. major event. He must he have some crazy. Um, Oda said that this is this one guy takes all the pictures. He must have some crazy observation on the games. I don't know what his powers yeah, are. He got fruit ability or something. He could fly around and get to. Yeah, places he's got the teleport. fly, fly fruit for sure. Ain't, ain't no doubt about that. That's crazy. One Piece is a legit biblical story at this point. For real. That's how most folks used to pass their time back in the day, and that's how the, these stories were made in the Bible and shit. That's what I think. Yeah. It Mother Carmel. Mother Carmel had the had Big Mom's Devil Fruit before this, right? Yes. Before her. Yeah. And she just ate her, so she got it. Mm-hmm. What? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big Mom ate Mother Carmel? Yeah. Yeah. Big, you don't remember Big that Mom she ate, ate her. Captain. Big Mom accidentally ate Mother Carmel and all the kids that were there. Well, all the kids could still be alive. No, as, they did. Uh, or most, Is some of them. Of her? No, because there's some of them that resemble some of the fucking, the fucking God Knights or whatever. So some of them might still be alive, mm -hmm. but Mother Carmel's for sure dead. Yeah, he ate her. Oh, and I I noticed that there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities between Nami and Big Mom, which is kind of odd because they it it's happened yeah, several really times during the arc where Nami is is somehow being connected to Big Mom. Well, Nami has like a similar presence to Big Mom in that they're both intimidating people. That's kind of like the only parallel I've seen. I mean, that they're both equally kind of scary. I mean, there was when oh, they I'm first not. arrived on Whole Cake, Nami had the um, mom's Big Mom's Vivi card. So all of them were terrified of her like they would be from Big Mom. Yeah. Well, Lola gave her that. Yeah. But it's it's still like I feel like there's just so many things that Big Mom that are Big Mom related that Nami is also doing, like her control of the weather too, like the way she uses Big Mom's clouds to uh, against people. I don't know. I feel like maybe they're setting up Nami getting the Soul Soul fruit or whatever it's called, because now she even has Zeus. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Nami's gonna get a soul soul fruit. But what if it grows on her tree? You don't know. Nah. Eh. That was the the closest tree that that could have been growing a, a devil fruit, you know? Yeah, but I feel not... like a devil fruit is gonna grow on the tangerine tree for sure though, at some point. I don't think series. that's how it works. Well, we don't know how the devil fruits work. It's there's no definitive they like explain? no. I'm pretty sure they explained that it appears so far. No, they, it appears on its own tree. Like these, these fruits grow on their own, like specialized tree. Oh, uh, and that's as far well, as we know right been. now. I mean, you know, the rules could change, but the fruit regrows elsewhere. 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 Just somewhere else? Yep. Like, not in One Piece land? Yeah, well, in One Piece land, but... Not, not like in the East Blue or North Blue or nothing like that? It could be anywhere. We don't know. Oh, it's, it's everywhere. It's, they're, they're probably scattered randomly. Whatever. Or it could be nowhere. It would be cool to see a one in the wild. We've never seen one, like... Taking off like a tree or nothing, right? Yeah. I mean, Doflamingo was able to find Aces fruit somehow. So. 
a flamingo. Yeah. All yeah. right, to even put it up for us. He was uh, in the black market. The tournament. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we don't know. We don't know mm. how they find these things. We just know, know that they actually. grow somewhere. Me and Oda go way back, so I know okay. everything. All right, never mind then. Since you and Oda know each other. We don't just know there each any... other. Do we have a, a question we can answer? We do. We do. We do have questions. We're on our last email, by the way. So if you guys want to send more questions, let us know. Email us at newjumpcitypod at gmail.com. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mike B asks, what clothing brand do you think would fit into a manga? I feel like the cheese brand such as Acronym would be a good fit. Acronym? I don't know what I'm about that to is. look that up. Yeah, I'm not super... Yeah, I'm not a big clothing guy. I don't really know brands yeah. like that. I mean, I'm, I like wearing nice stuff, but I'm, I'm not like... Acronym. Wait, what was the question? What clothing brand do you feel would fit into a manga? Um, Prada. What's that? <laughs> you don't know what Prada is? Come oh, on. Prada. I thought you I said that. something else. I thought I heard per- Barada. I know what Prada is. That's a cheese. A cheese? Yeah, acronym actually would. If, y'all should look it up. Acronym clothing. What is a cheese brand? It, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what cheese brand means. You should, yeah. You should send another email, yeah. Mike, and explain what that what that means. No, Barada. That's a thing. Chris thought I said Barada, so and I nah, said, he, that's a cheese. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but the acronym is pretty Mike anime. Like. Too? I looked up cheese brands and a bunch of different cheeses came up. Yeah, maybe cheese clothing brands. <laughs> well, to answer his question, I definitely think like Uniqlo, you know, or or like Uniqlo is too simple. Street, streetwear in general. Yeah, I, guess, I, I feel like know? as manga got less Sneakers. like Please more clothing brands. Yeah, I think, like, as anime and manga got, like, more grounded in kind of the real world, for lack of a better term, like, we've just yeah. been seeing more streetwear, stuff like that, like, regular clothing, not out of the, not outside the box, you know? Not, like, super fantastical. Even in, like, you know, things like My Hero Academia, people wear pretty regular clothes when they're not in their hero costumes, so... I guess the easy, the easy, the easy uh, response to that is whatever they rock in Japan, because that's what we see for the most part in the anime and stuff. Yeah, but I gotta be creative and think out like, what's in it like other brands? I mean, definitely, like Nike is obvious because like like sportswear and shit like a Nike or Adidas, New Balance, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. But Trying to think. I think like um like some I could actually see like a series doing like 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 having characters dress well like like kinda maybe not woodsy is not the right word, but you know like like flannel like work jeans, jean jackets, like shit like that. Kind of like biker hearts. gang shit or like trucker shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That kind of swag could work. Like imagine they did a manga based on, you know, in, in America, like the West or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just um, Sons of Anarchy manga adaptation. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. They have a lot of leather jackets and shit too, but I'm I'm thinking more rugged. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more question. LL Bean. Yeah, let's do one more question and get into the regular show. Uh, which anime right. and manga would you choose to be adapted into a Broadway play? Death Note. Oh, Ooh. that'd be good. That's a good one. <laughs> Yo, Death Note would be great. 
Either. That's a good one. Death Note would be good. Um, you know, it's funny. A lot of manga are adapted to like musicals in Japan. I don't know particularly musicals, but they definitely like adapt a lot of shonen manga for plays. Like I know there's there's definitely been my hero, a my hero play, a Jujutsu Kaisen one. My hero, I don't feel like works. I'm saying it's been done already in Japan. No, I don't think that works. Oh, okay. Sorry. Never mind. Bro. <laughs> All right, Brian. <laughs> God damn it. Um, let's see. What about Naruto? Naruto has a play. Yo, I thought yo, oh, I, I was gonna say that and I and I assumed that there probably already was. Like a like a music. I think Haikyuu has a play. I don't even know how you do IQ that. would be fucking lit. I don't even know how you do that with like the way like volleyball is it's a sport you play. I don't know how you mimic a, a sport perfectly every time. Cause they're just different. Hmm? They're just different. Yeah. And yeah, that cast must be. <clears throat> um, um I think uh Akane Banashi. You know, it feels like the easiest one. Yeah. Because it's literally about That'd performance. Cool. You know, the stories food like that. Would be pretty dope. Yeah, Food Wars would be cool. Although, like, well, I guess it's not impossible, the idea of cooking on stage. Seeing people's clothes blast off, that would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, that would be funny. Shoha Shoten. Bakuman would make a good play. Shoha Shoten, yeah. Bakuman... <laughs> Yeah, uh, they could show a lot of the art in the background and stuff. Yeah, I would prop. I'm thinking of a, I'm gonna think of an unconventional one. That would be a fun play. Hunter Hunter. <laughs> no, no, that would be impossible. Work. But mm. yeah, keep that freak away. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah. Avatar, the last airbender. Yeah. I mean, they literally showed you how in uh, the la second to last episode. <laughs> Have you guys heard about all that stuff that's happening with it, though? Yeah, the stupid ass fucking changes they're doing. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, they're just changing a lot of aspects of the character and they're making it more serious. And, uh, Are you talking about the Netflix series? Yeah, the Netflix live action that's coming. I did not care. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I do not care to watch it. Yeah, I mean, it, I haven't seen any trailers or nothing. I've seen the trailers. It looks good. I, I also, I also don't know if I'm gonna go out of my way to see it. Even like before all this stuff about the changes came out, I was still just like kind of iffy about it. Especially since like early on, we knew that like the original creators are not a part of it. Like they were. Well, they were a part of it, and, and then they, they quit. Left. <laughs> they quit because it was like creative differences. Yeah, yeah that bothered me the most. But you know, good news is we're actually gonna get authentic Avatar content from the actual people who made it pretty soon. I think next year the yeah. new like Avatar series comes out with uh, the Earthbending Avatar. Yeah, oh, they're doing actually? a movie too. Yeah, they're doing the adult Aang movie and all that <clears> stuff. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, lots of exciting stuff coming out of Avatar that's not the live action, unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know. I'm not, like, overly stoked. Josh was scarred because he went to watch the live at the He went to watch the M. Night Shyamalan one. Jesus Christ, you theaters. saw that in theaters? Oh, boy. Yeah. Didn't you yeah, go to watch I it, like, you opening everybody, night? Um, I don't think it was opening night, but it was that same weekend that it dropped. Yeah, I don't and remember like, when I watched it. It had to have been at so home hype. somehow. It was on it was on Nickelodeon. They put it on Nickelodeon. Oh. I remember we watched it together. God. <laughs> well. Nah, yo. People were like booing in the movies. Oh, yeah? It was fucking Sheesh. great. <laughs> so sad. Mm-hmm. Um Oh yeah, that's all. That's all the questions um, we actually had. Um, we have no more questions, so if you guys want to send 
anymore, you can email us at newjumpcitypod at gmail.com. We'll answer it here. I think we're all caught up for sure. So, you know. Um, yeah, let us know. All that stuff. Uh, I think it'll be it's uh, high time we hit up the uh, the regular show. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see you guys in New Jump City. Bye. Peace out.